What's happening? It's Shane here and in today's video we are going to be doing one of the most exciting videos. I know people love these. I do one every single year and that is going to be the master's degree tier list. All right, so this is going to be the updated 2022 version. I read your guys' comments. There were certain careers, certain degrees that you wanted me to talk about that I didn't talk about the last few years. And so I'm definitely going to go over those in this one. Well, I can't say definitely because sometimes people ask about the most random ones, but the ones that a lot of people asked about, I did include in this video. So let's jump right into it after you gently tap that like button. Let's see if we can get maybe a thousand likes on this video. First one is going to be a master's degree in a technology related major, right? So one example of this would be a master's in computer science and about 12,000 people every single year do graduate with a master's in that major. Okay, so technology related skill sets, degrees, etc., are pretty much good on every level, whether it's no education at all, and you just teach yourself or whether it's getting like a doctorate. There is just a ridiculous amount of demand for these skill sets. It's one of the hottest skill sets that you can possibly learn. Now the average base pay for someone who gets a computer science degree and becomes a computer scientist is about $106,000 a year according to Glassdoor. Having a master's in computer science would likely mean that you are making even more than that. So yeah, this one, no surprise at all, it's absolutely gonna be going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be engineering related master's degree. Now, of course, you can get a master's in a lot of different engineering related majors. Some of them are going to be better than others. But with that being said, one of the better ones would, of course, be electrical engineering. And that's why about 11,000 people graduate with this degree every year. That is kind of one way for you to tell whether it's worth it for you to go for a master's in whatever degree you're looking into is look at NCES.com, the National Center of Educational Statistics. I believe it's .org. I apologize. I'll have it pop up on the screen and then see how many people graduate with a master's degree. And a lot of the time that will give you a clue whether it's going to be worth it or not. But yeah, electrical engineers make on average about $95,000 a year. And if you had a master's degree, you would likely make more than that. This one is also going to be going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be a science related master's degree. So for instance, you might get a degree like biology, about 3,000 people every year get a master's in biology. Now one career path you might go down is becoming a research scientist. They make about $97,000 per year. Now when it comes to science related degrees, a lot of the time you are gonna be forced to get a master's, forced to get a doctorate, especially if you want to get into some of the more coveted careers. A lot of the time, unfortunately, science degrees at the bachelor's level are not very good, but sometimes it can be worth it when it comes to getting a master's. It's just very important for you to have in mind that if you are going for a science degree, you need to be prepared to pursue higher education. But with that being said, science-related master's degree, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next on the list is going to be a math-related master's degree. And in this case, they bunch together mathematics and statistics. About 10,000 people every year do graduate with a master's in these. So if you were to become a mathematician, for instance, you'd make around $90,000 per year. And this is something that you usually would have to have a graduate level degree for, at least a master's. There's also a lot of other options for you if you get a master's in statistics, for instance, data science is a very common career path for you to go down, also very good. So yeah, this one is going to go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be an acupuncturist. And yes, there is like a master's uh, in acupuncture. Usually they do end up getting like some kind of doctorate, but about 1,200 people every year do go for the master's. And now Nationally, the average pay for a licensed acupuncturist is about 57,000, which is very low, especially considering the amount of education you have to get and the amount of student loans that you'll likely take out. I did a video where I talked about the average debt to income ratio that was reported on Student Loan Planner, uh, which is basically this organization that works with people who are deep in student loan debt. An acupuncturist had one of the worst, one of the highest debt to income ratios at about 4.6. And that means that the average person working with them had 4.6 times the amount of debt than what they made every single year. So if they were making $100,000, they had $400,000. $160,000 in debt on average. So yeah, this one, unfortunately, when it comes from a uh, financial standpoint, not worth it. It's going into F tier. Next one on the 
list is going to be an art related master's degree and the example we're going to be using is music about 2100 people every year graduate with a master's in music performance now one thing i will say about like art related degrees like music for instance is for 99.9% .9 of people, especially getting like a master's or a bachelor's, it's not going to be worth it. There is those odd 0.01% where you're just some kind of like prodigy, you know, you're a classical guitar star. Maybe you're able to go to Juilliard and work with some of the best classical guitarists in the world. So yes, there is that exceptional person where getting a master's, getting a doctorate can be worth it. But for the vast majority of people, this is not going to be the case. Now, if you are able to you know, get a master's, become an artist, uh, they make around $63,000 a year on average. But that is a huge if, because a lot of the time people are not going to be able to find employment. So yeah, this one is definitely going into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be a college professor who has a master's degree. Now, Usually, if you have a master's degree and you want to be a college professor, you're only gonna be able to work at like community colleges. Generally speaking, universities will not hire you full time. And so you'll likely be making less than somebody who has a doctorate. And that kind of makes sense because you know, getting a doctorate is a lot harder. But with that being said, professors nationwide, according to glassdoor.com, make about $114,000 a year. It's also a pretty sweet job, has very high job satisfaction. The debt to income ratio is not bad, but it is very difficult to become a college professor. I mean, think about it. There's thousands and thousands of people graduating with doctorates every single year what percentage of those people are actually going to be able to become college professors? Maybe one in a hundred. But if you are able to pull it off, it can be a very cool job. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into A tier. I mentioned this one before, but data science, and specifically if you were to get a statistics degree and get a master's in it. About 3,100 people do graduate every year with a master's in statistics, and a lot of them will go on to become data scientists. So if this is the exact career path you go down, it is super, super good. This is one of the most valuable skill sets you can learn. And data scientists make on average about $117,000 per year. So yeah, this one, clearly it is going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be a master's in business administration. And it's difficult to say exactly how many graduate every year because there's different types of MBAs, but it's estimated that there are over 200,000 people who graduate every single year with a master's in business administration. So that is a lot. Now, in some cases it can be worth it. You know, you can get a master's in business administration while you get your other degree. In many cases, you can kind of integrate them together. You know, in my example, in my career in pharmacy, people who got their MBA and their PharmD degree make on average about $15,000 more per year. So that's a little bit more than 10% more. But it's hard to say whether that's because of the fact that they got the MBA or it's because the types of people who want to be in leadership positions and so therefore they would you know, likely become managers and of course managers are gonna be making more would also be the same type of people who might wanna pursue an MBA. So again, it goes back to the old question of correlation or causation, really hard to tell which one it is. But with that being said, managers on average in the United States make about $80,000 per year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. And then the next one we're gonna be talking about, very similar, also gonna be going into B tier, and that is just all of the other business-related master's degrees. So for instance, international business, about 1,900 people graduate every year with a master's in it. Now, to be completely honest with you, uh, when it comes to business, when it comes to these types of skills, I really think you're very limited uh, what you can learn in a classroom, especially when it comes to higher education, you're very limited. Um, a lot of what you're gonna learn is just gonna be working, practicing, on the job training. But people who get a master's in international business and work in this type of profession make around $71,000 per year. There's other examples where it can be pretty decent. And so for that reason, I'm also gonna put it into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be a master's level teacher. This is somebody who has a degree in education, 
they become a teacher, but they actually have a master's, not just a bachelor's. And about 20,000 people every year do graduate with a master's in education. The average instructor in the US makes about $60,000 per year. And with a master's, you would likely make a little bit more. So this is another one where it can be worth it for the right type of person. You would make more money with a master's than you would with a bachelor's. But overall, teachers really aren't paid all that well, unfortunately, in the first place. So getting a master's is just gonna be a little bit better than what wasn't that great in the first place. So I'm gonna have to put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be nurse practitioner. This is a master's level professional degree. About 28,000 people graduated last year with this degree. And this is one of my favorite careers out there. Just super fantastic. You're kind of like a sort of like a mini doctor, like a super nurse or a mini doctor, the way you want to see it. You can prescribe, you can diagnose, and you don't have to work under the supervision of a doctor. And one other really cool thing about nurse practitioner is it does tend to be internationally recognized. And so if you're somebody who wants to work abroad, there's a very good chance you can do that as a nurse practitioner. They make about $121,000 per year, super, super good money. This one obviously is gonna be going into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be an occupational therapist at the master's level. About 6,000 people graduate every year with this degree. Occupational therapists make about $80,000 per year, which seems on the low side, especially for somebody who gets a master's, but this degree actually has some of the highest job satisfaction some of the highest meaning out of any type of degree or any type of career. So a lot of people go into occupational therapy because they really just love to do it. But with that being said, I have to assume that if you're going into a career, you're gonna actually enjoy it. You've done your due diligence and you made sure it's something you're gonna enjoy. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier but I could easily see this being S tier for certain types of people. Next one on the list is going to be physician assistant, now known as physician associate. About 8,500 people graduated with this degree last year. And this one is very similar to nurse practitioner. And in some ways it's actually slightly better. I think it's a little bit less likely for PAs to get saturated than nurse practitioners. And you see there is a lot less PAs graduating every year. Now they make around $101,000 per year pretty good job satisfaction. You can do some of the same things, prescribe, diagnose, etc. You do have to work under a doctor and it's generally not internationally recognized. But with that being said, very solid option. This one definitely is going into S tier as well. Next one on the list is going to be a master's level psychologist. About 27,000 people graduate every year with a master's in psychology. And one of the things about psychology is you're very likely not going to be able to get a job with a bachelor's bachelor's degree, you will have to, at the very least, get a master's to get a job. And with a master's, you can expect to make around $54,000 a year, which is extremely low for somebody who did that much education. But with that being said, a lot of people love psychology. They want to become a therapist. Uh, it's one of those jobs that a ton of people find incredibly interesting. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be social science, uh, liberal arts slash humanities master's related degrees. So one example of this would be multi or interdisciplinary studies. About 10,000 people graduated with that degree last year. So one example would be maybe a master's level anthropologist and you'd expect to make around $52,000 per year. Can still be pretty difficult to find a job depending on which one you do. And as you see, especially for a master's degree, that's pretty low pay. So yeah, this one is going to go into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be a social worker. This would be a master's in social work or MSW. About 29,000 people graduated with this one last year. And this one is very similar to psychologist, uh, slightly higher pay actually. They make around $63,000 a year. But yeah, very difficult job. Uh, doesn't really pay all that well, not a ton of opportunity. This one is gonna go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be a speech language pathologist. About 3,800 people graduated with a master's in this one last year, and they make around $83,000 a year, which isn't bad. So yeah, this one, a uh, very specialized medical type career. You help people who have either eating or speaking disorders, and it can be pretty decent. Uh, this one is gonna go into B tier. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.